What's up guys, it's me Skylar. So today I'm going to be telling you guys how you can compete on your gymnastics team. But before we start this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get into it. So every single gym is different when it comes to competing, but the gym I coach at, I'm gonna tell you what we do. So you have what is called rec gymnastics, which is kind of just the basics of gymnastics and you're not really competing or anything, you're just learning the skills for fun. And that's level one through three. At the gym I coach at, if we see a lot of strength and skill in you, we put you on Devos or Falcons, which can lead you to the competitive teams. In order to get on your competition team, you need to have your skills. You can't just be a beginner and want to compete on your team. If you want to do something like that, you would go to Excel, which is a program where you can compete, but you're not gonna compete for the developmental program, which can get to level 10 in elite and college. The majority of girls do go to the developmental route and Excel is more for girls who want to do other things other than gymnastics, where they want to do painting or horseback riding or soccer and gymnastics doesn't take up as much of their time. And developmental, it's, it's a big commitment, you guys. It's not like you go straight into optionals. You're gonna be in compulsories first, which is level two, three, four, and five. And you're gonna be doing the same routines as your teammates. And you're just gonna be working on the basics. You're gonna be working on developing your own skills. That does take a lot of time and you really need to master those levels in order to get to optionals. Optionals, you get to create your own routines with the help of your coach. You get to choose the skills you wanna do because every gymnast is different and compulsories, you have to do the same as your team and optional is you get to have a little more fun so I'm just gonna be telling you guys what you should expect so out of me you're gonna get what's called a medal this is my medal from Westerns you're only gonna get these medals if you perform well and the higher the level you get the harder it is and you're gonna be separated in your age divisions and then that's how you get placed in meddling. When you go to compete in gymnastics, it's not gonna be like a rec gymnastics class where you're just wearing your clothes or a plain leotard. You're gonna be wearing a competition leotard. This is one of my competition leotards from a few years ago. They're long sleeve, they're tight, and they're very sparkly and pretty. You're gonna want to look good for your team and when you move up to your competitive team, you are going to be working out a lot. It's not gonna be like, oh, here's an hour class here, an hour class there, no. It is four hours, I mean, it depends on the gym. Most of the gymnasts who are competing are training 20 plus hours a week. You have to be prepared for that. But my main advice in order for you to get on your competitive team is work hard and get your skills. Look at YouTube videos of girls who are competing level two, three, four, and five, and try to get those skills. You really want to impress the coaches that you're with now and tell them your goals. Tell them, I really want to make it on a competitive team. Just let them know. And you have to prepare in your own mind that you are ready to compete because some people this can be a lot on their mind and they're like oh my gosh i have to mentally prepare everything and i have to compete in front of thousands of people and in front of judges and oh, it's a lot if you want to do it you should go for it let me know if you guys want me to do more videos like this so i can help you guys prepare for your gymnastics career i really hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to again give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow all my social media link down in the description i post every single day as well as YouTube. I post every single day on YouTube. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.